Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and it's that magical time of the year that every collector loves hearing. The one word that brings us all far and wide to our Target stores, Holothon. And today, we have the new NECA Toys Pizza Club cartoon TMNT figures with a special look at Leonardo with the new Leonardo Leeds action figure. Now, for those of you who are unacquainted or do not know, this will now be the fifth or sixth release for the cartoon TMNT figures. Usually, they're released somehow, some way, in a collector's edition, four-pack, something like that. But this time around, being reissued as the Tile Game Pizza Club, which is a wink and a nod to not only Domino's, but the Burger King Kids Club, way back when, when they had the VHS and toy promotions. But I gotta say, I absolutely love the artwork that's on the front of these boxes. There's not much going on on the sides, other than TMNT and... It's blue for Leonardo. You get the flappy opening box. You get to see Leonardo and then everything that this figure will entail. So if you get a chance to go through a few on the shelves, make sure you get yourself a decently painted one. On the back side, it'll tell you how to collect all four turtles. Like I said, this is one of the first times they've released the turtles as singular editions. You can read up on old Leonardo and then see all the different photos utilizing all of the different accessories that this figure comes with. Now, the important information is always on the bottom of the box. I always like to point out everyone involved with the creation of these figures, and as always, thank you very much for that. Take special note of what's in the box. These will be very deep cut accessories this time around. Sure, you do get Leonardo, you do get his weapons, it's a TMNT figure through and through, but for those of you wanting a little bit more oomph, like myself, these are basically an accessory packs. Kind of, sort of. So there are a lot of things in this box where you can really add to your collection, but I'll save you some time now. This is not something you're going to need if you're just a casual TMNT cartoon collector. Now, the barcode, hopefully, sometimes you get lucky, you can scan this in the store. This is Holothon times. You should know your training by now. People that are going to buy and resell these things, you're not going to stop them. People are going to buy the whole lot. They're not going to get that many in store. They want you in the store constantly looking because you buy other things when you go to Target. Usually. Sometimes. You're like me. You walk in for one thing. You walk out. You're like, okay, no, they didn't have what I'm looking for. Now, subsequently... These will go online at some point starting April 12th. It'll be every Friday, you know, for about a month. You get the idea. We've all done this before. This is what, the third, fourth holothon, something like that? We should know how this goes by now. So just be vigilant. The cartoon TMNT are the only exclusive items. Everything else will eventually see other store releases. So cartoon TMNT, exclusive, like it's always been. I wish you the very best. And if you take your time and... Be smart about it. You will eventually find what you're looking for. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys Target Store cartoon TMNT exclusive, the brand new Leonardo Leeds from the Tile Game Pizza Club series. So now here's everything taken out of the box. And like I said, this is the same exact figure if you've been collecting any of the cartoon TMNT figures thus far. It has the updated face portraits. You can swap out the face plates. You get the idea. And then it has some really deep cut action figure accessories, like some hands. <laughs> No, those aside, you can swap those out at your leisure. You do get some binoculars, which is a nice addition, especially if you have the sewer layer or if you ordered Donatello's lab, which I did, which will be a nice place to put these when I get it. You also get this little warrior statue. You can help me out in the comments below. I thought this was Chakahachi at first. You can help me out on what he's holding, too. <laughs> You also get a pepperoni and marshmallow pizza, and I think this is one of the best accessories in the box because the cartoon TMNT was always known for its crazy pizza concoctions, so I love this. Now, you do get the Three Musketeers book in the episode entitled The Four Musket Turtles. Leonardo basically has a mental breakdown and becomes one of the Three Musketeers, so 
this is his favorite book. Plus, again, it'll look good in the sewer layer on a shelf or just one of the tables. You do get a VHS tape. It's blue. It's, again, meant to harken back to the old VHS of what this whole series, this set, is based off of. And then you have Straight from the Big Zip Attack, which I know a lot of you are saying, well, that's my favorite episode right there. We have this thing, The Zip. And the basic premise is that in Dimension X... Krang and Shredder discover this egg. This thing pops out. And now we have it as an accessory, courtesy of NECA Toys, which again, deep cut. But these are very specific items, and this is why I absolutely love the cartoon TMNT line. The little stand is removable. He has some articulation in the head, like it is a ball joint, but mine is stuck. It's not moving even when I kind of twist the neck, the whole neck goes with it so i would recommend heating this up beforehand also there's no other articulation even though in the episode this thing grows six arms real fast it's like a split cell second it's really funny but yes NECA toys only went with the two-armed version but i always thought i, I had to rewind that several times i go wait what just happened there the Extra head portrait is Leonardo smiling. And if you're not familiar with recent cartoon TMNT releases, they have this system where you can swap out the tops of the heads. They're all swappable with the four brothers themselves. So that's a nice touch. Although it's incredibly difficult to then swap these out because they really are stuck a whole lot of the time. And honestly, I was kind of hoping that NECA had kind of revamped these a little bit. Even in the bandana, you're supposed to be able to get some rotation up and down. It's very stuck. I have no problem twisting it. That's fine. But a lot of the joints are very stuck. And this cartoon TMNT Leonardo with the red eyes, which again is from an episode where he gets hypnotized, is cool. Don't get me wrong, but... You probably already have this, and you're just getting it now for all of the different expressions and then the accessories. It's very much a figure that is stuck in the joints, and I've said that across the board with all the cartoon TMNTs. You always want to go very easy, but with these new figures, again, I was really hoping that they had kind of gone back, kind of revamped some of the joints, maybe changed a few things. No, it's going to be largely the same with some new paint here and there, especially on the shell. Some of the way the figure feels is different from some of the older releases. With his weapon storage, again, those are very flat. You're going to have to heat those up if you want to utilize those at all because those swords are not going in there as flat as they are. In terms of the articulation itself, I feel like, yes, for being an older figure now, it has plenty of articulation, although, again, like I said, to beat a dead horse, I just wish it was a lot more fluid, and especially with the weapon storage, as that was always a point of contention with the Leonardo figures. He does have peg holes on the bottom. You can clearly see it's stamped, but it really is the colors, and then for me now, this all red-eyed head portrait, that's what's bringing me back to now getting these. And then now to show you the differences between the two. So here we have the new Pizza Club with the red eyes, and then you have the initial two-pack releases when they first came to Target. I don't have the SDCC box set, which kicked all of this off, but these are largely the same right here, especially in the head portraits, the colors. You get the idea. With the new Pizza Club, he's a lot more tunish as opposed to the initial two packs where those are kind of sort of the first couple episodes, first season in terms of the face portraits. They went a little bit more cartoony as the whole show went on. You could see the color differences. And then on the outskirts, you have more of the style guide colors, very green, kind of video game, kind of different iterations. You could even say potentially Archie looks for these. So swapping out the head plates is not going to work because of the color. The original two-pack release, they don't really swap heads as it is. But you get to see all the differences between them, especially on the backside of the shells. Now, again, on the outskirts, you have the style guide color. So that's really not going to change other than just being very different in terms of the head portraits and whatnot. Between this new Pizza Club and then the original Target 2-pack releases, again, the colors are different through and through. And again, to reiterate, it really is all about the accessories for me. NECA Toys always does such a fantastic job 
putting things in the box that are very deep cuts that really make you want to go and watch the cartoon and really find out exactly what episodes, what's the context, everything else. Some are easy, some are hard, but I really like the pizzas this time around, the books, the little alien zip creature. That's a lot of fun. And so for the pizza club, well, I can't say I'm going to recommend this if you've been collecting these through and through all these years because there's not a whole heck of a lot of difference here. But for those of you that are really keen on building out your sewer lair, the upcoming Donnie's Lab, yes, this set will be good for you. But for those of you who already have a Leonardo that are just kind of casual collectors, no, I don't see there being too much in this box for you. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Cartoon TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, again, take a deep breath, relax. Holothon is not a big deal. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.